Hey guys, Joe here, and in this video, we're looking at left hand accompaniment, or more specifically, how can we make that left hand more interesting, more fun, more fluid, and take it beyond just normal, simple, standard chords. So I'm going to give you a really nice left hand pattern, which is fun to play and sounds amazing, so you can use it to develop those left hand skills and take it beyond just playing normal, standard chords. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Creative Piano Academy where people come to learn simple techniques to get better at the piano. If that sounds good to you, smash that subscribe button now. Let's get going. So left hand accompaniment techniques. How do we take that left hand and make it more interesting, more fun to play? I'm gonna show you a pattern in the left hand which you can use, you can practice, get used to it, and then take it into your own chords or take it wherever you want to take it. I'll show you it in a very specific chord sequence in this video so it gives you the tools you need. Now this technique isn't suitable for you if you're just starting to play the piano. I mean, you, by all means have a go, I'll be well proud of you if you can do it. But um, really you want a few weeks, uh, maybe a, a few months of experience behind you to be able to you know, smoothly go through this and not really pull your hair out and get really frustrated with it. So chances are you're just used to playing single notes in the left or even just single chords in their normal positions and it can get boring really, really quick. So I'm going to show you a pattern which will take it a little bit further and make it a bit more interesting for you. So I'll show you what we're going to play first and then we'll dive deep into it and I'll show you step by step how to play it. So this is what it sounds like. And to show you how that can sound, even just bringing in something simple in the right hand. So hopefully that shows you what you can do with it and um, gives you a few ideas. So let's dive into it step by step. So for those keen listeners and viewers out there who have actually spotted it, this is a six, a four, a one and a five sequence in the key of C. So that's a A minor, F, C and G sequence in the key of C. Um, so I'll show you this in the, in the A minor chord to begin with, and then we can just shift it around into the different chords. So we start out with this A position. This is position one, okay? We've got two positions that you need to be familiar with. Position one here, which is the power chord position, which is A, E, and A again at the top. It's called a power chord because we're just using the root, which is the A, and the fifth, which is the E. It's the fifth because one, two, three, four, five notes above the A. Okay? So that's our first position. Now we need to transition into a second position, to position two. And we'll use our thumb as a pivot. And the fourth finger comes over onto the B, and then we nicely rest into this position at the top, which is this A minor, which is the a here, the C here, and the E here, fingers five, three, and one. So actually that, <laughs> thinking about it, that's a little exercise you can do in itself here. Just moving between those two positions. Um, you know, I get these ideas when I'm doing these videos for you. I get these these ideas, I get overloaded with them, and it's like, where do you stop? But um, anyway, let's carry on. So you can do that if you want. Um, so here, I want you to separate those notes out. So from position one, we've got, a, E, A, like that. And then, once you've got used to that, bring your fourth finger over onto the B, strike the B, and then strike the C and the E together with your third and your first finger. Okay? And then back down, and then thumb underneath onto the A, so that's the thumb underneath here, using that as a pivot, and then back down to the E. And that's it, that's where we stop and we move to the next chord. So we get this, position one, moving through position one, into position two, and then back down to position one. So we're moving from that position to that position all the time, okay? Okay, so really slowly, just practice that and try and get used to how that sounds, how that feels. And then we want to take that to the next chord, which is an F chord. So from here, we move down to this F chord position here. And we, we basically follow that same pattern, okay? 
Unfortunately, because we're in the key of C, you don't need to worry about any sharps or flats. So um, you don't need to worry about any of these black notes, just the white notes. We're going to go F, C, F, and then fourth over, and then A and C. Now, notice when I played it before, I stopped here. That's purely because I just thought it sounded nice, okay? I just thought it sounded better. But there's nothing stopping you just doing exactly the same pattern here. Um, throughout the whole sequence. Um, but if you want to do what I was doing, okay, that's pattern one, uh, chord one, and then we're down to the F. And once we get to the A and the C here, I just let it hang. And then we want to move to the C major chord here. Okay, so this is our first position, and this is our second position. So here, fourth finger over, E and G, back down, okay? And then we're down to the G chord, and I'll leave that B and D hanging, okay? So the second two chord, the, the last two chords we've got is C, and then G. So everything together. You want to try and keep this left hand nice and relaxed as well. What might happen is this, you know. We don't want this sort of stiff, fast movements. It's meant to be nice and flowing, especially if you want to get that nice speed. Okay. So get used to how that feels in the left hand, okay? It doesn't want to be angular or anything like that. It just wants to be nice and ebb and flowing and it wants to be nice and relaxed. And once you're used to that and you want to give yourself a fresh challenge with it, then bring in the right hand. And uh, the first thing you can do, the very first thing, is just play standard uh, chords in the right hand. That's it, over the top of it. And let your left hand do the work. The left hand's kind of got that melody going anyway. so the roles have kind of swapped. Your left hand's um, doing a melody and your right hand's doing the accompaniment in this. So I could just play a standard A minor chord in the right, then an F, and then a C, and then G. So that's giving you something in the right hand that you can use to kind of take it to the next level, but really it's all about the left hand. So get used to how it feels, get used to how it flows. Um, it wants to be nice and relaxed. So try and get used to that first and then you can start experimenting and taking it wherever you want. So as always, I'm going to be putting plenty more videos up for more ideas like this. So keep checking the YouTube channel, have fun, keep practicing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this pattern's helped you kind of realize what you can do with that left hand and it's helped you develop those skills. Head on over to creativepianoacademy.com for more resources. And don't forget to hit like on this video if you liked it and hit subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Now, over to you. What's the goal you had in mind when you first wanted to start playing piano? Was it a particular style or maybe you wanted to play your own music? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, keep practicing.